Hi everyone, it's the Tides Changing here, and welcome to part 5 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Get Together. Charlotte Amanda just got home from work. I skipped through the day because Maya didn't really do much of anything. But what I wanted to do this evening was have Charlotte set up her own gaming club. I've been wanting to have one of these girls set up their own club, so I'm really looking forward to doing this. And I'll just get right on it. Oh wait, no, I'm on... whoops. Okay, so we can just create a club. As far as the name goes, I'll call it the Gaming Llamas, which was suggested by Swiftly Simmer. I'm not really going to bother with the description right now. And we can leave it open invitation. We don't need to be all fancy and exclusive. Uh, but maybe later on I could make a requirement to have a level 2 video gaming skill, but I can't do that right now because I don't even think Charlotte has a level 2 video gaming skill. Uh, oh wait, no, what am I doing? Uh, let's see, specific location in Windenburg. I did place down uh, an arcade that one of you made, because in the last part, Techie74 let me know in the comments that they made an arcade that I could use as the meeting place for a club if I wanted to. And this place is really awesome, so I'm looking forward to having them hang out there. Okay, so this is of course going to be their meeting place. We can also pick out some members. I'm not sure if Sims will just join on their own or not, but we could have Maya join to support Charlotte. Amanda doesn't really consider a video game club her cup of tea, so she doesn't really want to join it. Uh, who else does she know? I wonder if she knows Candy's sister. Okay, no, she doesn't. Which is unfortunate because Candy's sister, I believe, is really into playing video games and programming and all that. So I think that she would be someone good to have joined the club. But hopefully she'll meet her at some point. We can invite these two since she knows them fairly well. Uh, who else? Does she know anyone else? Yeah, she hardly knows the other people that she has apart from Amanda. So we'll just leave it at these three for now and hopefully some other people will join. And now to add the admission rules. Uh, oh wait, no, we don't really... No, I'm not going to make any admission rules. Uh, we just need to do the do's and don'ts. Yeah, later on I might add a requirement of having a, at least a level 2 video gaming skill, although that might end up kicking out some of the members that are already in here. I'm not sure. Uh, I think, yeah, let's go into the funny game section, play arcade machines. So that's one of the actions. And play pub games that might... I wonder if that includes all of the games like darts and everything. Maybe it does, maybe it just kind of includes all of them. Definitely want to play video games in here. Anything else we want to add in? I think we're all good from stuff in, in this category. Let's see, we could do be friendly to clubs, be friendly to the gaming llamas. So they could be a nice cooperative gaming club. And then we have one last one. Maybe we go with something from food and drink. We could do drink coffee, but I don't think there's actually a coffee machine at the arcade, so... Uh, I guess I'll just leave the last club action empty and we can maybe figure out something to do for that later on. Okay, so that's... Oh, we definitely need to pick this. Don't want to leave that as whatever, like the group of sims here. Okay, so this is of course going to be the symbol for this group. Alright, I think that's good for now. Uh, I also want to get the... The club jacket. I think there was also a club bracelet perks. I think it'd be kind of cool if over time this club got a little bit more competitive. But I do want to get on starting a uh, gathering. Yeah, so we'll have them gather at the Windenburg Arcade. The gaming llamas have arrived at the Windenburg Arcade. I'll just give a quick tour of it before getting into things. So this is what it looks like from the outside. And I will have a download link to this in the description in case any of you want to add it into your game. I just thought this was such a cool looking lot as I was looking through it. So over here we have a bunch of different arcade machines and then there's even more over here as well as a couple of foosball tables and some Don't Wake the Llama games as well as some card tables. This lot is zoned as a bar so we have that over here and then a little seating area. There's also a basement which has the bathrooms as well as a bunch of computers and there's even some of these virtual reality games over here. Which is just so cool. I am working on a cafe for a Let's Build and I was saying in that series that I wanted to use that cafe as a meeting place when it's done. But after seeing this place, I'm not sure. I might just keep using this arcade because it's just so cool and has everything that they need in it. So. I don't know, I'm thinking I might just keep using this as the meeting place for the group. We'll see. 
I'm not sure what Maya's up to. Is that... Okay, that's her right over there. Oh, that's cool. She's all playing the arcade machine. Uh, I guess she got a game over or something, or ga game over either that or she lost. Well, we can also have her talk to him since they're supposed to be friendly with the other members. So we could just have her talk to him for a little bit. We could also keep an eye out for some other Sims who we may want to have potentially join this group. Like if we run into Yuki, I definitely want to have her join it because her description said that she was a master at Blick Block or whatever the game is. So I really think this club would be her kind of a thing. Uh, let's compliment his outfit. I also wanted to get Charlotte up here as well, but she's just still down here playing this game. I don't blame her though. Like, this looks really fun. <laughs> I guess she's just like she's just dodging blocks or something like that. Okay, well, I think that's enough of having her play that. So I can get her up here to talk to Candy. Maybe she can join her in this game. Uh, what does it say? The afterlife can be tough. Come tell the local bartender all about it and enjoy some discounted libations. It's ghost night. Uh, I could put drinking bar drinks as one of the dues, maybe, since this is a bar after all. Oh, let's talk about the latest party and... Uh, discuss dance techniques. Does she have the dance? I think Candy might have the dance machine trait. Oh, uh, we- no, she doesn't. Okay, never mind. Maybe Joaquin does. Oh no, we don't know his traits at all. But anyway, we can just have her talk to her. Oh, I also want to check on what Maya's- okay, she's back to that. Oh yeah, I think in part three I noticed that it seemed like- oh yeah, let's invite him to join us. But yeah, I noticed in part three that it seemed kind of like there was something like a potential spark between her and Joaquin. So I definitely want to have her get to know him a little bit better. Okay, looks like we can't really talk while they're actually playing this game. Looks like they're having fun doing that. Uh, you know, just- okay, join him. Oh, when did Jeffrey Landgrab die? Oh, well, he was pretty old. Oh, there's another ghost over here. Who is this? Arthur Waters, I have no clue who that is. And then these two are still over here talking. Seems like they're getting along pretty well. They're almost friends. Uh, let's... Let's discuss favorite band. You know what? I think I will actually add getting bar drinks as one of the actions. Because she's a dance machine, so I think it goes along with that since they're into partying and all that. Yeah, so we'll just add drink bar drinks as another do for them. And if I... Do you end up using the cafe as the hangout for this club? I can always just change that to drinking coffee. But yeah, I'm really thinking I might just continue using this lock because it's just it's just so cool. Okay, well we after she finishes up that little discussion, let's have her order a drink. Can we order a drink for Yeah, I guess we could have her order a drink for candy as well. She can just get uh we should probably go with something not super expensive. Uh let's get let's get two sweet and spicies. And let's also have her- oh, how's her- oh shoot, okay, okay, stop that. Jeez, she got so into the game she forgot that she needed to use the bathroom, okay. Uh, go do- why is this place a- uh... oh, okay, that's why this place is a mess. What- what happened here? Oh, maybe- I don't- I don't know, maybe it was something to do with the ghost. That's cool, looks like everyone except for Maya and the group is getting- working on getting some drinks. Okay, so once Maya's done with that, I guess we could have her come up here and get some drinks. Or get a drink, I don't know. Uh, we'll just have her order... Uh, we'll order a buffalo wing tea for her. And where is that? She just ordered a group drink. The bartenders in this game are so slow. Huh, I'm guessing, she, guessing she's discussing some kind of fear of commitment with her. Okay, do we have to try ordering... Are you leaving? No! Bartenders here suck. Oh good, we're getting another one. Maybe she'll actually make orders. Uh, no, come on. I want you to get some drinks. Can we... Oh, she doesn't even know what she's doing. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's order a... Uh, let's order... Uh, juice on the rocks. And then we'll have her come over here and order something as well. She is hungry, so hopefully a drink will help. Oh wait, no, not order a drink for... I guess she could order a drink for... Joaquin. Maybe she's kind of trying to 
Oh, look at that. They're friends. Uh, let's... And then we can have her order a drink for herself. So she can get a... I don't, I don't even know what I had her order for Joaquin. Let's have her order a juice on the rocks for herself. Okay, this... What are you doing? This bartender sucks. Oh, there we go. Now she's actually doing something. Yeah, I don't think this whole... Having them look at drinks thing is gonna exactly work out. She just gave up on it. Came on over here to play some video games. But perhaps Maya's having better- Oh, there we go! She actually had better luck! She got a drink! Oh, there's a... I don't know if that's... Yeah, let's, uh, let's have you grab that, because you can. Oh, that was hers after all. Okay. No! <sighs> oh, well, that might not even have been her... I don't think that was even her drink after all. Uh, well, she's done with that, so let's try ordering... Not that, let's try ordering... A drink again. We could go with an EAPA this time. I think Maya's having a good time at this club as well. There's so many ghosts around here. Is that Nancy Langrub? Oh, both her and both her and Jeffrey are ghosts now. And then was this oh no, that's someone new. Man, he died young. Oh nice. Uh Charlotte actually got a drink as well. I did also want to check to see if we can Ooh, 316 club points. Yeah, so we could get some perks for them all now. Uh, yeah, let's just keep this an obscure club. And then we can have a club handshake as well. So what would these two have? I love, or these this group have, was it cross cross point, uh, front back high low, fist bump. Uh, hmm, let's, let's go with this one. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Nice. Oh, she finished one of her uh, milestones. So let's see, be in a club gathering for 12 hours. She's got 10 out of 12. So if we stay here for another two hours, that'll be done. And perform 10 club activities. Oh, that should be easy enough to do. Okay, what's this? All right, we don't have enough points. We have 223 left. We might be able to get... Uh, no, we don't need any of this. We I do want to save up for this. Definitely want to save up for that. Uh, we can have an angry... No, we don't need angry club vibe. Not flirty. I think either playful or focused would be good for this group. This club does have a more lighthearted vibe to it right now, so I'm just gonna go with the playful vibe for it. And I think that's Ooh, we can get we can get club hats or bracelets. I'm gonna go with the bracelet for now. And I think we can apply it from apply it to the club's uniform in the club panel. I wonder if we can just, like, can you just, um, have the bracelet and the regular clothes, I wonder? Oh, there it is. Oops. I think I'm gonna wait till we get the jackets and the hat to plan out the outfits. Just because I don't know if it'll let you, if there's an option for it to, for you to have just whatever the regular clothes are plus the bracelet. So yeah, I'm gonna wait till she gets everything and then we can just have the outfits be, like, the jacket, hat, bracelet, and maybe black pants or something like that. I'm gonna just have the club gathering go until she gets her 12 hours of being in a gathering. Uh, which will be until I guess like 1 in the morning which isn't that bad. But she's done with what the drink that she had before so let's have her go ahead and order another drink. We'll go with the, we'll go with an EAPA this time. I think that's, was that what I had, order, had her order before? I don't know. Uh, let's have Charlotte talk to her a little bit. Talk about the latest party. I think that's something that my will find interesting. Ooh, we got some more perk points. Maybe we'll be able to afford the trucker hat later on. Oh nice, she's getting those club activities really fast. We're probably gonna be able to accomplish the second milestone tonight as well. Uh, yeah, actually I wanted to see what the rest of the milestones for this were. So let's see, I've reached level 5 Christmas skill, talk about clubs with five club members, and then earn 1,000 club points and lead a club with eight sims. Okay, we could definitely recruit more people for this club. Okay, let's also get Joaquin in this conversation as well. Oh, they're also, uh, oh wait, no, not hug. I don't know. <laughs> they're also playful from the club vibe that I used. Uh, how's Amanda doing? She's all the way back home. I guess she's taking good... I don't know, it doesn't look like she's very taking good, taking very good care of herself, to be honest. Oh, uh, where did... Actually, where did Candy go off to? Where is Candy? Is she still... I think she... she. I mean, it's a group gathering, so she should still be here. 
Oh, there she is, down here on this computer. We could have her join her down here. Okay, yeah, she needs to use the bathroom, so we'll just have you go there, take care of that, and then afterwards you can go over here and play... Play Sims forever. Uh, you know what? Let's have her play a Don't Wake the Llama game with him. Yeah, let's have her challenge him to it. Also, how is... Okay, so she's just finishing up with that. She's gonna go join Candy over here now. Oh, have we gotten to 12... Oh, okay, cool. So we got to be in a club gathering for 12 hours already. Let's see if we could just have her do uh, four more activities. So we could just have her have some friendly conversation with Candy here. It's like a deep conversation and discuss favorite band. I can't remember if she had the music lover trait. Oh, she does! So that's something that they have in common. Okay, how are you doing? Oh, okay, she's continuing. She's playing that game with him. You know what? Uh, let's have her flirt with him a little bit. Or um, ask if he's single at least. She is a bit interested in him and uh, she's, she's not shy about going after what she wants. So we'll just have her ask him if he's single and uh, flirt with him. Although we should probably wait to see if... Uh, we should probably wait to see if he's actually single or not before flirting. I mean, they're friends, though, so it should be fine. Also, how many... Okay, so we're up to 132 points. I think we can actually get the trucker hat now. So I'm gonna go buy that really quick, and then after that I'll get the jacket, and we can put together a nice uniform for them. Okay, are you on? Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, he's into that, of course. I, I'm not sure what she's... Oh, okay, she flirted then now. She's asking him if he's single, which... I'm sure he is. He's probably single. Well, we're waiting on that. Let's see if she's gotten those ten... Nice! She's onto the- that was quick. She's onto the third milestone of this already. So she's moving up through her aspiration really quickly. Okay, did you find out whether or not he's single yet? Why are you taking so long to get to ask me for that? Okay, just, just stop talking with him. Find that out so we can get on home. Okay, there we go. Now she's actually asking him. And is he? Yes, of course he is single. Well, it is almost 3 in the morning, and Charlotte actually has to work tomorrow, so I'm going to end this gathering and have the two of them go on home. I think that was pretty successful for the first meeting for this club, but I'm going to just skip through the day tomorrow because Mai is probably not going to do much of anything. And then, why is there so much water all over the place? What is going on here? I bet it's the ghost doing something fishy. Oh, like maybe he died from... I don't know. Maybe someone died from drowning and they're just screwing up the place. But yeah, I'm just going to pick up in the evening once they get home from work tomorrow. Amanda and Charlotte just got home from work and Amanda got a promotion. So to celebrate her promotion, I'm going to have Maya and Charlotte take her out to the Shrieking Llama. Once they get their moods up and all, of course, because I did see that Charlotte really needed to take a shower. Uh, Amanda looks pretty good. Her fun is a little low and she's also kind of hungry, so let's have her get a quick meal of some cereal. And then she can just watch TV while she eats it. I think Charlotte was already on... Yeah, she's already on taking a shower. Uh, great. The toilet broke. Okay, we'll, we'll have Maya hire a repair, a repair service to take care of that. The girls just arrived at the Shrieking Llama, so I'm gonna get on having them get some drinks. So we can order, uh, we'll just have her order something for herself. She can get, I mean, she just got promoted, so let's have her get something fancier. We can go with a zebra fizz. And then we'll have Maya order something as well. Uh, let's see, we'll go with something cheaper for her. We'll just have her get a juice on the rocks. And then for Charlotte, uh, oh. <laughs> uh, okay, she might not really be able to stay out that late tonight. She's already conked out in a bush. That just, that looks so uncomfortable and itchy, like you'd have leaves poking your face. I just, I just don't see how like, that's a good sleeping spot. Uh, what is this? Clank, clank, clank. Rogue gentle persons gather about. Don your armor for night, night, and get a sweet discount. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're gonna be doing night, night. Okay, well, we can, we'll just let her sleep there. And uh, these two can go ahead and get their drinks. Did you already... I don't know if she already ordered her drink or not. I also wanted to see if there was anyone from the Good Timers here. If not, maybe I'll just have her start a group gathering as well. Ooh, who are you sending a text to? 
Oh, that's cool. We got someone dressed up as a knight. Are you- is she making fun of- <gasps> I think Maya's making fun of her, her knight outfit. <laughs> it does look- it does look kind of silly. She's the only person dressed up as a knight here. Oh, never mind. Not anymore. Who is- who is this dressed up as a knight? Uh, Oh, I think that was Robert's mother. Okay, what are you doing? You're ordering a drink? Okay, there we go. She's ordering something. Okay, let's try- I don't think Maya's gonna- <gasps> What are you doing? Oh, she's giving rude introductions, that's why. Okay, you know what, we're gonna... Yeah, Amanda's not gonna just take that. We're gonna have her mock outfit. Like, just just mock her for going out in public dressed like a knight. Amanda just thinks that's ridiculous to go out dressed like that. Okay, is she doing that? Yeah, I think she's mocking her outfit now. Hopefully if we try ordering a drink again, she'll actually get one. We'll go with an EAPA. And then I did, I did want to get the good timers out here so she can hang out with them some. Yeah, so hopefully this time we'll actually get something. Um, well, while she's waiting for a drink, let's, oh wait, no, why am I going there? Okay, let's, uh, good timers, yeah, let's start a gathering. And to get all the good timers on out here so she can hang out with them. Was that, no, that wasn't what she, okay, never mind, that's not her drink. Is she actually going to get her drink? I gave up on trying to have her order a drink, so I'm just gonna have her talk to Maya for a little bit. She could talk to her a little bit about the good timers, like tell her about them. And Maya, being who she is, wants to know a bit more about what Amanda thinks of the members of the group. Like, she's the kind of friend who will just be like, so, are you interested in anyone? And try to uh, turn the conversation around to that kind of a thing. And Amanda didn't really want to talk about it, but since Maya asked, she is actually going to tell her about what she thinks of Bjorn. Uh, she, is, she is pretty attracted to him. Uh, part of that might be because he is wealthy and she does love, she does love money and status and all of that. So she's just telling Maya, well, yeah, there is this one guy in the Good Timers that... I'm sort of into, and I think he feels the same way too. Like he uh, brushed up against my arm the first time we met. He just kept looking at me and wanting to talk to me and all of that. But the only problem is he's married, and I just I don't think it would work out well if I tried to go for this. But I can really just tell that there is a mutual attraction there. And Maya, being who she is, like she just doesn't believe that people are meant to be monogamous and that the idea of marriage is ridiculous and that. It's just a con it's just a piece of paper and it's really silly. Tells you know, she tells Amanda all that and that marriage is just a state of mind and she'll never know unless she tries and that for all she knows maybe their marriage is going bad and she should just give it a shot and see what happens because you only live once and all that stuff. So she's just pushing Amanda to go for this and try to see if she can make something happen with Bjorn, no matter the consequences. So we're gonna actually have her tried to hook Amanda up with her with him uh, how do we I, I can't remember exactly where where that interaction was I, unfortunately I'm not seeing that option show up it should be something that says other sims and then you can pick that option from there I don't know why it's not working with Amanda like if I click on Dominic over here uh, this will come up and I can ask about another sim or talk about another sim so in that case what I can do is have and Maya go over here and talk up Amanda to uh, to Bjorn over here. So yeah, we'll talk up Amanda. Yeah, we'll, we'll just have her go over there and say, Hey, so uh, my friend Amanda's pretty cool. What do you think of her? And uh, I'm sure Amanda's just going to be like, What are you doing? You're messing with my life. Don't do this. It's probably going to be kind of awkward. So we'll see how this goes. I guess she's doing that now. Ooh, so he says, Wow, I'd love to get to know her. And is he just... Oh, that's so cool. He's just going Um, he's just going up to her after that. Oh, that's so neat. Amanda's great. I'm glad I got to know them. Uh, oh, Amanda needs to pee. Do we... I don't know if we can still... If we can, um, like, hook them up now? Never mind. The other sim options aren't showing up now. It's, I guess it's just kind of finicky as to when it'll show up because we, we don't have those options for her either. 
Well, I mean, now that we got his attention and got him to come over here to Amanda and he's showing interest in her, it might have pumped her up a little bit. So we're just going to have her go with it and go for it and flirt with him. Oh. Oh, he is, he is cool with this despite getting married. So um, that definitely helped her confidence with the situation a bit. So she's kind of kind of upset with Maya at first for pulling that. But I think now she's thankful because... Um, Looks like there's a good possibility we could get something going between the two of them. I do believe she needed to go to the bathroom though, so let's have her do that really quickly. And then we could have her come back out here and maybe flirt with Fjord a little bit more. I would be surprised if Mai said something like, My friend Amanda's pretty cute to him. I'm sure she feels a bit guilty wanting to have an affair with a married guy. But she just really feels like there's something there. She's just like, you know what? I only live once. Why not just go with this and see what happens? And Maya's whole live life to the fullest and do whatever you want kind of attitude is definitely rubbing off on Amanda, who has always been a bit on the uptight side. Okay, so she's getting on peeing now. Hopefully she gets back soon. <gasps> Wait, Amanda, are you... Or Maya, are you flirting with... Okay, I don't, I don't think she was flirting with him. That'd be really, really crappy if she just started flirting with him after she encouraged Maya to go, at, or Amanda to go after him. I don't, I don't think she's that, that awful to where she would just steal one of her friend's love interest or, you know, just go after a love interest of a friend. I don't know. Maybe she is. I don't know. That could be a side of her that we see eventually. But is Amanda, okay, Amanda's done with peeing now, so let's have her go back out here and flirt with him a little bit more. Oh, we should have her, we should have her exchange numbers. So, I don't know, maybe they can see each other outside of the group meetings in the future. He definitely seems very into her. Are you getting his, okay, yeah, she's getting his number now from, where is he? Is he, oh, he's all the way over there. Uh, you probably don't want to be yelling your number out across the room. Okay, I think she, Okay, he's getting that. He's getting her number. Oh, we just kissed the phone. Uh, should we have them do a little bit more? Oh, she's feeling very confident. Oh, what is this? This is new. Uh, totally digging me. This could be the start of a beautiful relationship. Ooh, she is. She's feeling herself right now. I'm sure she wouldn't mind marrying him in the future and acquiring some of his wealth. Although something that one of you did point out to me is that. His daughter is one of the members of the Paragon, so things could get pretty interesting with this, I think. Uh, oh, looks like she wants to she wants to flirt. Oh, she just flirted with him a bit on her own. But I guess for tonight, we'll just keep it to the flirting, and then maybe in the future they can move on to more than that. But we can also compliment his appearance. And I oh shoot, it's almost it's almost three in the morning. We probably should be getting them all home soon. Uh, but you all can let me know what you think should happen with this little fling thing that's starting between Amanda and Bjorn. Like, should she try to get him to break up with his wife and marry her instead, or should... I don't know. Uh, just let me know what you think. I think everyone is pretty tired, though, so I'm gonna have them all go on home and end the part here. What is... I think Charlotte, I think Charlotte's just been sleeping in this bush the whole entire time. Like she just, yeah, she just completely uh, was left out of everything that went on tonight. But I'm sure Maya and Amanda will fill her in, although I'm not sure she's going to be too pleased with Amanda for trying to go after a married man. But anyway, I'm just going to end this part here, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and bye!